Welcome back. Let's start from where we left off. This time we're going to see how to use a neural network that you had previously trained. We select the scene and copy it. And while we're at it, let us rename the scene names so we better understand what's going on in our project. We paste the elements in the new scene that we call the tester and now we will only keep two elements the previous classifier and the neural network. We also remove the classifier script and replace it with a new script that we will create. Let's call it the numbers predictor. Just like last time, we will remove the unwanted elements from the template. We will ask the user to type his own numbers, so we do not need an input source. Since the input source is not here anymore, we will define the input size manually. Here the template uses input as a keyword. Since we want to use the built-in input function from Python, we need to rename that. Let's remove the other parts we do not need. The run function returns an array of results. Since we will feed it one number, we will have one result. Now we can begin asking the user for the number. The input needs now to match the shape of the model. And we're ready to use the output of the network. Here the output will be a label in the same shape as we did when we were feeding the trading data. The max index function simply returns the index of the maximum value in an array. So here we will have either 0 or 1. Let's print in the output what the neural network thinks the value actually is, so we can see if it's successful or not. Before we can start, we need to link the objects together. We also need to specify the folder where we saved our model during the training process. Et voilà, we are ready. Let's test our program. As you can see, it properly distinguishes between numbers that are superior or inferior to 0 0.5. Thank you for watching.